Greetings fellow viewers and welcome back to Final Fantasy Record Keeper Continuing on with our Times Arrow, the new FF13-2 event Let's head into part 2, so it looks like we are going to be heading into the actual game at this point So let's hop into it, uh, new Bodum 003AF Envoy So here's our party. I uh, thought we'd go with the level up our FF13 party a bit more. Add in the new characters. We've got no. We've got Sarah with the ultimate arrow. Uh, we replace Hope with Vanille because she's a proper wh white mage. So yeah, let's go with it. Uh, see if we get any decent roaming warriors. Refresh a couple of times. No. Alright, let's just stick with Shout then. <laughs> oh yes, very loud music. I don't know why, but it was much louder than usual in the actual game as well. Let's see if we can blast through them. So apparently no isn't a true physical support. He's actually a physical attack, but it, which is weird because his burst soul break is physical support, so I don't understand the reasoning behind that. I mean, Walker's last burst soul break was also a physical support, and he's a physical support character, so don't know the reasoning behind that. Play further play through the first three sections here of this part two, aka the elite dungeon of this new FF13 2 event. Oh that's a scary looking beast down down there in the background. So here we've got two pulse work soldiers. Pulse work soldier and a gremlin. Doesn't much look like a gremlin. I suppose a gremlin in the future. And finally two pulse work soldiers. So this area here is the Obviously the first area you go to in Final Fantasy Thirteen Two, Where the time space continuum apparently is running amok, beasts are flying in. And basically you have to save it by defeating this boss here. Which we'll see who it is in a minute. Don't remember much about the bosses in FF13 2. But we'll go through it normally without autoing through it. Just to put a bit more oomph to the video. So it looks like the boss is Gogmagog. Mog? Is that, a, is that a beefed up Moogle or something? Gog Magog, Gog Mog Gog. It's like he uses Ruin. There's a fair few hit points. There we go. Now we're going to see any of Sarah's. So breaks in these battles. Hopefully sticking with this party for a while for some FF13 synergy. There we go, defeating without being KO. Pretty much the target scores as always in these first ten sections of each dungeon. It's only when you get into the plus battles that um, get things you have to do. 
So we get 3000 gil, ice orb times 10, mithril times 1, the neo memory crystal times 1, server memory crystal times 1. Allow us to level them up, break the level cap. So our next area is New Bodum 03 AF Space Time. We're going into the space time continuum here. Nice synergy. Oh, really? Did I just click? Oh. And there's a shout right there as well. Oh well. Wait, am I going to have enough stamina to do all of it? I should do, right? So, first up we have two gremlins. Hey, gives an e gives us an ether. A Gorgonos a Gorgonos bid. Snow didn't even finish him off then. And finally two gremlins. So basically this part two dungeon is the first I'd say like the first probably after lightning's bit it's the first hour or so of the game Wow, oh, come on guys, finish him off So here we have a pulse work soldier, whatever, a gremlin, and finally two pulse work soldiers. Yeah, they work as soldiers. Hey, we got a crit. Alright, let's see how much stamina we've got left. Take us down to forty one. Hmm, how much stamina the next dungeon is going to cost? See what the boss is here, what we've got. Oh, cool music. Hey, we get ultimate ammo, let's use it. Ultimate ammo, sorry. Okay, looks like he has a barrier. Pew! Okay, is that all he did? Hey, look at these dimensional spaces in it's like it's in time or something. Causality barrier. It's like it just reduces damage. But it doesn't reduce that much damage because oh he's not dead. No way, Snow's gonna finish him off with Meteor Crush! That's a cool death, that. Nice to see them do it in 2D. Defeat Gog Magog without being KO'd! Nice bit of XP boost there. 
and for our soul breaks as well. So for our rewards we get 5000 guild, 10 earth orbs, 1 methyl in mastery reward. Um, what was that? Sid Reigns' memory crystal I'd imagine that was because we already have it so it gets converted. We get Sars memory crystal and that's it. Alright let's see how much uh, stamina this next one costs. How much we've got left? 46. Uh, I miscalculated. You know what? Don't really want to spend a mithril. We're going to start it off. Keep you guys waiting in suspense for the boss. So, what we're going to do is play through the first two parts and then do the boss later. <laughs> so, this section is simply called the encounter. I apologize, I miscounted my st how much stamina I would need. I thought it would be recharged by now. Oh, now this is the music I was wanting to hear. Do I have the soundtrack to this game? And the music was alright. As you can simply tell in the background. So there we go, first part completed. Change the music didn't last very long. You know it's pretty cool music. So let's move on to part two. Oh well. Just two more stamina is all we needed. We've got a Gorgon or Spid. A Hedge Frog. I guess because he's got two hedges there. And to finish things off, two Pulse Work Soldiers. I mean, it's cool base, but really. So, there we have it. Unfortunately, we are out of stamina. So, we're not going to be able to carry on. Again, I apologise. Oh, well. Miscalculated. So, we're going to leave it there for this video. Leave you all in suspense for the boss, what the boss could hold with that weird moving hand. It's just a hand. So what will it entail? We'll find out in the next video. So if you like this video, hit that like button, it helps out a lot. And then comment about the video if you want. And then I would ask you to check out the rest of the channel and subscribe subscribe if you wish for more Final Fantasy gaming goodness or just gaming goodness in general and as always I will see you in the next episode to be continued